In March of 2019, the juvenile dumpster fire that is The Serfs released a documentary on Mark Randazza. For those unfamiliar with him, he is the attorney to the alt-right, proud defender of Richard Spencer's booking agent, Stormfront editor, and of course, Alex Jones. Several days after its release, the video was flagged for hate speech, which was slightly alarming given its content. Unfazed, and without any other real options, the serfs uploaded it to Vimeo, where it resulted in their entire Vimeo account getting taken down. After filing a complaint with Vimeo, the channel was restored, however, fearful of further recourse, they decided to stop uploading it to the internet, as its raw spiciness seemed too hot to handle. Recently, however, Mark Randazza himself posted on our Patreon, claiming not only was he astounded by this news, but that he would offer us completely free legal representation should it ever happen again. So without further ado, here's the video that nearly tanked the serfs on the man, the myth, the legend, Randaz. Are you the next alt-right Nazi light sympathizer to get unfairly accused of inciting violence just because you posted the personal address of a Jewish real estate agent that resulted in her and her family getting death threats? Are you tired of seeing greasy lawyers in the media and then having the ones in real life not live up to the hype? Well then prepare your body for the greasiest lawyer that ever greased. Mark Randaza, attorney at law, wants to fight for you. And fight you, probably. Randaza, 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 Randaza. Or should we say attorney to the stars? Because he represents the biggest names in Nazis since the Nuremberg trials. There's white nationalist Republican congressional candidate Paul Nelhen. Over the last week or two, I've used some inartful language on Twitter. Predictably, the trolls there have seized on it to claim that I'm a bigot, that I'm a Nazi, a fascist, or a white nationalist. Once again, the media has decided to carry these claims in the form of their fake news. Why? I'm an economic nationalist. White supremacist patriarch Jared Taylor. And when I got to the capital, Liberia, I asked a young student, um, I always went to the university because it was always interesting to go to the university and meet young people who had studied. I asked him, uh, well, I don't mean to give you any offense, but uh, why is it that compared to Ivory Coast, your country is a mess? He says, oh, that's a very easy question to answer. We didn't have the benefit of being colonized by the French. Well, un until then... <laughs> wait, 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 sorry. Holocaust denying slanderer Chuck Johnson. A sociological experiment where we took, we gave blacks in the ghetto, we gave them like section eight vouchers to like get the hell out of the ghetto, right? And we started, there's like an Atlantic article on this like maybe four or five years ago. But what happened was, was that we gave all these section eight vouchers to get out of the ghetto, right? And what happened? Like people got out of the ghetto and then they started committing crimes like in their new area. So like we gave everyone, you know, like whatever the rental equivalent is, and then you could move into like a nicer area and they brought the crime with them. So that just goes to show like how much it's like a part of you once you grow up in it or how much it's a part of like your brain, you know, like. Mm -hmm. Wow. Pro rape misogynist Darius Roosh. Let's sign off on this and make legislation which would legalize rape in a private a private room. I, I, I don't know. A co-organizer of the white supremacist Wally in Charlottesville. The booking agent for Richard Spencer. He also represents 8chan, the more racist 4chan. And Gav, the alt-right alternative to Twitter. But all these pale in comparison to his two uber celebrities, Mike acquitted of rape Cernovich and Alex conspiracies melt my prostate Jones. The singularity because our uh, time is becoming delayed now where I always ask people, how long ago was it when Kathy Griffin pulled her little ISIS beheading stunt? How long ago was Scaramucci fired? Everything is happening. Seems like now. a thousand years ago. Yeah, exactly. So our time is becoming delayed because we're being we're approaching the singularity. Whatever that means, we don't know yet. He's a proud academic who failed out of the University of Massachusetts three times and miraculously got into Georgetown Law School where he finished dead last in his class. Randaza is the ultimate inhuman scum who can get you and your brood off on multiple forms of hate speech by using the magic of the First Amendment. Given my practice, we're uh, dead, dead hookers are our spirit animal, so we're okay with that. 
course, he's a monstrous hypocrite who has surprisingly low understanding of the First Amendment itself. For example, he claims the neo-Nazis call to action to terrorize a Jewish woman and her family is protected speech and a worthy part of the marketplace of ideas. You're a lawyer in Arizona and you want uh, freedom of expression. The point is, there's an iron curtain, to, to quote Churchill, guys try to pull up Churchill's Iron Curtain speech. There is an iron curtain descending down now across Eastern Europe and the evil Soviet empire is expanding uh, and they are destroying free speech and censoring. Yeah. I mean, th this is an Iron Curtain descending. You know, it, it, it's almost too bad that the Iron Curtain fell, I've said sometimes. He's tried to intimidate a reporter for trying to publicize a tweet by Mike Cernovich. You know, when, when Twitter was starting off, they said, we're the free speech wing of the free speech party, and everybody come here and we'll always defend your right to free speech. And you spend your energy, spend your time, you build up this account, you build up, I don't know, 200,000, a million followers. You've helped Twitter build its business. You've built something on that expectation. Do you have a property right or an expectation right there? I think that you might. He also represents reprehensible clients, not because he believes in any of the same things as them, but because he just loves the First Amendment so much. The number of people affected by Nazism since 1945 is probably less than the number of people who have been crushed by vending machines. The philosophy lost in the marketplace of ideas until recently, where those who try to suppress it are driving new recruits to it in droves. Trump says he's a nationalist as far as I'm concerned. Being a nationalist is a bona fide job requirement for the U.S. president and a senator, representative, judge, all the way down to the lowest federal employee. Looking for a lawyer who has no concept of loyalty? Randazza worked as an in-house general counsel for Excelsior Media, a gay porn company, and despite a $250,000 a year paycheck, he also was secretly working for their competitors behind their back, while at the same time claiming what most normal people would call a gross conflict of interest simply an example of fair use. Looking for a lawyer that takes illegal bribes as payments? While working for Liberty Media, Randazza would frequently elicit bribes from entities that his employer wanted him to sue. Rather than just do a copyright strike against competing websites, he would email them from his private law firm letterhead and simply demand they pay him directly. <laughs> While sitting on the $550,000 Oron settlement that was supposed to go to Liberty Media, Randazza left his job with them and had his paralegal run data wiping software on all their computers. He then sued his former employer for sexual harassment. How, you ask? Well, are you also looking for a lawyer that suggests nay demand you film your hardcore gay pornography in his office? Randazza loved doing this, and his workplace was a frequent set piece for hanky panky videos. He then used that as the basis for suing Liberty Media, claiming they forced a straight male to be subjected to gay hedonistic acts in the workplace. Brilliant! And despite all this, Mark Randazza is the ultimate example of white male privilege. He conceded as little as possible from his Nevada Supreme Court hearings and didn't even lose his license. He's only been suspended for a year from practicing law, so soon enough he'll be back to fight for you. We need to protect the Nazis. So call 1-800-SCUMBAGGERY today to get Mark Randazza fighting for you. Unless, of course, you happen not to be white, neo-Nazi, ultra-right, light, lower, slurp, 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 slurp. These goddamn tweets are just so f grammatically awful. Randaza, Randaza, Randaza. Do you enjoy the Surf's brand of humor, but also want to have daily news from the Surf's? Then you should check out our brand new channel, The Surf Times. It's daily news, seasoned with delicious flavors. Come check it out today. Link in description. Did you enjoy what you just watched and now crave more Nectar of the Damned? Did you know that if you're watching on YouTube, you're only getting half the surfy experience? We upload all of our content commercial and censorship-free to our Patreon. Due to the general demonetization of our videos, we now upload half of our original content directly to those who can help us produce this show. Want even more Nectar than that? Well, come join us at twitch.tv slash thesurfstv, where we do weekly live streams, debates, interviews, AMAs, and more. If you're an Amazon Prime member, you can help support our show 100% free by subscribing to our Twitch channel. So come join us, be merry, and know that your support is helping us do great things. Like pay rent and eat. Hearing that a guy talked to a burning bush doesn't prove anything other than that he might be crazy or took some really great magic mushrooms. We would first and foremost like to thank our god, Nicholas Marks, we worship at your temple. 
We would like to thank our monarch, Elsie Hupp. Your generosity has made this entire thing possible. We would like to thank our lords, Ricky Pilgrim, I'm Raft, and Michaela Schmidt. You are the pillars of our organization. To our knights of the surf table, Paul Parfit, Daniel Kahn, Fair Tahan, Clement Chutzkoff, Schizosaurus, Josh Mickelson, Dr. Zayas, Cooper Pilot, Andre Lynn Epperly, Dylan Bith, Terry, Todd Buckingham, Jed Lewis, Todd Lageness.